NBA fans are spoiled and here's why. Last night in the NBA, Keegan Murray started 12 for 13 from three-point land. Jimmy Butler and Shea Gildress Alexander hit game-winning shots at the buzzer. The Clippers scored 114 points through three quarters, and Chet Holmgren recorded eight blocks in regulation, while the 76ers destroyed the Hornets by 53 points. Today, we talk NBA headlines and how they're increasingly becoming more insane as us spoiled NBA fans become numb to them. It's very interesting when you think about the dynamic situation that the NBA is in. It's a league that's drawn through power. It's a league that's drawn through entertainment. And we are getting more and more entertaining games and thoughts such as the NBA in-season tournament. A few years ago, we were introduced to the NBA play-in in the postseason. These are some of the most dynamic changes to the league, but yet we still find ways to complain and gripe and bitch and moan about how they are not good NBA regular season games or how the postseason doesn't matter until the NBA Finals. And I understand that's generally less of the sickos, as JJ Reddick says. It's more of the uh, you know NBA casual fans. But even if you are a casual, how can you not enjoy the NBA regular season as we see a Saturday slate like we did last night? And then we're not even talking about or appreciating it. Do you guys understand that if a team like the 76ers blew out the Hornets five years ago or 10 years ago or 20 years ago, especially if they won by 53 points, it would be everywhere. Every single newspaper stand it would be on. Social media wasn't as big back around then, but it would be on that social media. Last night as well, Keegan Murray starts 12 for 13 from three-point land through three quarters like Klay Thompson. These are NBA performances, whether they're blowouts or not, that are super fun and super engaging and super entertaining. And the casual fans, they don't even care for it. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to see it. And if they do see it, they want to see the highlight. And the highlight makes it mesh together as if he's, you know, hitting all of these in a row. But the fun part about it is watching it in real time, seeing the crowd get involved uh, when you're speaking about crowd retention we like to talk about the Jimmy Butler and the Shea Gilgis Alexander game winner Shea hits a game winner against the Denver Nuggets guys the, it's literally the battle of the top three seeds in the Western Conference going down to the very wire like that is playoff atmosphere basketball and just because there's not a in-season tournament slapped on it or a play in tournament or a playoff slapped on it it seems like people don't even care Jimmy Butler has a very great night Jimmy Butler against his former team the Chicago Bulls gets 28 points including the game winner at the buzzer guys these are amazing moments that we are taking for granted last month Jimmy said against the Knicks hey I missed this buzzer beater I'm going to hit make the next one and he did the Clippers absolutely offensively dominate. I, I mean, dominate the New York Knicks through three quarters. They score 114 points. Back then, games, they scored 80, 90 points at most. I, in 1990, the average points per game was 95, guys. And they scored 114 through three quarters, while Kawhi Leonard went 12 for 16 from the field and scored 36 points. Absolutely automatic. The teams are getting better. The fans are getting more into it. But avid watchers that aren't there, avid watchers that don't really care about the NBA season and they're saying that the league is going to crap it's just very interesting because we have seen more and more the offensive overload and talent we've seen the defensive thrill from certain players even though we love to say that defense is dead we see these guys like Asar Thompson pop up in the draft that make a team like the terrible god-awful Pistons actually kind of enjoyable to watch because there's someone out there with heart there's someone who's giving it hundred percent on every possession and then there's random storylines like Colin Sexton uh, in a couple games starting this year he's averaging 28 points as a starter but because Utah is so bad nobody cares guys this is just a tangent video it's a rant video but the point I'm trying to make through this video is that any 30 NBA team there is a headline for that team there is something enjoyable to watch but we are not giving them the appropriate attention we are not giving them a chance so the whole point of this video and me calling out NBA fandom and myself included saying that we're all spoiled saying that you know we don't appreciate the NBA enough I just want you to watch your hometown team or your favorite team and just sit and actually watch a regular season game it doesn't matter if they're playing a bad team it doesn't matter if they're playing a great team or a middle of the pack team you are going to find at least one thing I promise that you're going to enjoy because the NBA 
NBA is an entertainment competitive business, and I promise you these guys are out there giving it their all every single night, especially with the new changes to the rewards or awards, my apologies, as you have to play 65 games a night, uh, or sorry, not a night, um, 65 games a season to be you know, uh, allowed to win these rewards. And then I talked about this. The last thing I'm gonna say is I talked about the fountain of youth of building the NBA. Jimmy Butler, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, LeBron James, um, these guys are 34, 35, 37, 39 years old, and they are dominating the NBA still. They are playing literally out of their mind basketball, and nobody's seemingly appreciating it. Obviously, you know, you have the LeBron lovers that are, you know, appreciating every single moment of LeBron, and that's great. But for these other guys, it's it's almost like people forget that they're only a few years behind LeBron. And, you know, it's it's just remarkable that they've been playing as well as they've been playing. Um, I know this is a rant video, and I'm sorry if my voice sounds messed up. I'm, I'm fighting a little bit of a sickness right now, but I'm still posting every single day, guys, for the month of December. If you're new here, subscribe. I appreciate y'all's support as always. Have a great rest of your day. Stay happy, health, and blessed. Peace.